I just lost an entire 10 minute recording of this game. And uh, that means I'm only going to be doing one video tonight. I have to go through this whole thing again and talk about everything that I already talked about. What is good? There. Okay, no. No. Uh, rewind. There. I've started a new game. As you can tell, I got further, but the recording messed up. <clears throat> and now I have to talk about everything I already talked about. Welcome, this is Yoshi's Island, but Peach and Yoshi are in my A again. Hmm. Where could they be? It's a Mario time. Yoshi's Island doesn't, or Yoshi's House doesn't have anything but an info block in it that's not really important, and then the intro stage is basically a tutorial. Basically what I talked about was why I'm not doing Super Mario Universe, and that's because I saw... You know, he just talks about getting a mushroom, I probably shouldn't be rattling through that if anyone wants that. Oh, I suggest you head down here unless you're brave, that is. If so, come closer for your princess, blah ha ha, Bowser. If you just run over here, a key falls down there because you need uh, the blocks and a bunch of bullet bill shoots, so you're kind of screwed. But anyway, I won't be doing Super Mario Universe anymore because, for one, I've declared it done, in my opinion. Because I got to the castle and that's it. Two, if you don't know how I do these, I don't like doing secrets. If I find the secret, cool. If you're forcing me to find a secret, I don't like it. Because that's not what a secret should be. A secret should reward the player by giving them something extra to use. Not reward them by, you know, continuing the game on. Which is stupid. And there was some other stuff in his response video to, uh... The questionable ending one that I made. And I had some other stuff to talk about. Can't remember. Well, I remember one thing, but man, that's not gonna take up ten minutes of time like my other one did. I had ten minutes and fifty like seven seconds of footage, and then the stupid thing didn't render out. So now I have to do this crap again. Not that it's you know bad. It's all right so far from what I've played. All right. <clears throat> Can't really even remember what I talked about. That just shows you that I just ramble on to whatever comes to me. The end of X Radical's video, he said, you know, he doesn't like when, like, I guess people or I play hacks that are on Super Mario World Central because, you know, they're actually, you know, well designed. His basic thing was that he wanted to see, you know, YouTube users. Mario marches on, marches on courageously. Little does anyone know about his confidence, and little does he know about the dangers ahead. Okay. The problem with accepting any hack from a YouTube user is that it's almost often too hard for its own good, and the design is repetitive and poor. Also, the, the sprites are always glitched out, almost always at least. And it's always caked with clappers or spikes or some sort of instant death mechanism that screws you over. Out of all the hacks I ever played, Kaizo was probably the best. I don't even care. It was hard, but it was fair. You knew what to do. The sprites weren't completely glitched out. Oh, you bastard. I mean, it was completely and utterly hard, but... I mean, it was fair, in a sense, I suppose. But most things I get from YouTube users are like, Oh, look, here's a huge clapper maze. Time to do some pinpoint jumping and get pissed off. Yeah, that's great for the viewer, but sooner or later I'm going to get pissed off and stop doing them. Whatever. <clears throat> The other thing I talked about, for some reason, I talked about going back to school, because I'm hopefully going back to s no, going back to school in September to get a bachelor's degree. I have an associate, which is not good enough for me. I didn't I'd rather have the bachelor's at least. <clears throat> and then I talked about my job, basically saying. I brought up an old message, and I don't think I ever talked about this message that I got. And it, it came from a while ago. I think when I first started doing the real-life stuff that I moved to a different channel. But the question was, how much money do I make? Because I have a friend who's, and I can't remember the age. It was like 10 or 11 or 12 or 13. It was one of those. He said, I have a friend who makes $19 an hour or something like that, 17 19 20 something like that, and he's 10 or 11 or 12 or whatever. So I thought to myself, I don't make that much. 
And from what I know, most, you know, 18, 19, 20, 21 year olds aren't going to be making that much. For one, you don't have any high type of degree unless you were insanely smart and got into college early. Or you, you know, lucked out and got a job. I also brought up the question that people keep asking me, um, do I own my own house? And no, I don't. Because I work at a job where the pay is not great because I'm just a base worker. Uh, I don't have a, you know, a higher degree. And I don't work a lot of hours. I work about 25 because that's pretty much what I want right now. Is, is that Mario? Fire the cannons. Defend the castle. And then I went on to say, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm completely sure that I know for a fact that there's, you know, 18, 19, 20, 21 year olds that probably do in fact own their own house because I have, uh, you know, oh, damn it. Friend, one of my friends has a friend or a few friends that own their own house or their own apartment because they have a, you know, a really good job. They lucked out and got a good job that pays really well for their age. I did it again. Damn it. And, uh, it's completely possible that, you know, 18, 19, 20 year old, blah, 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 you get the age set. Has their own house and whatnot. <clears throat> their own apartments. Completely possible. The majority of them? Probably not. At least the majority of my friends. No one I know personally is that young and makes that much money or has their own house or apartment. Nobody that I know. Not one person that young. So, it is possible. I can't believe I just hit that. Possible, yes. Likely, I don't think so. I really don't. I mean, really, when you're 18 years old, you're still pretty stupid. I'm gonna tell you. I'm 21, I'm still pretty stupid. You have a lot to learn. Still. Even when you get older. And some people never learn, but most people, I like to think, do. So, yeah. Um. As far as I know, I don't know what, like, younger people or younger kids think happens when you turn 18. Like, is there just some guy that comes and offers you this great, awesome job and you get to move out of your house? That really doesn't happen. A lot of times you have to work towards that, or attempt to work towards it. I, well, that's a lost cause. <clears throat> so yeah, and then I was talking about, uh, the whole th conversation pretty much started when I was talking about I could possibly be in, in <sighs> don't ever try to talk too fast for your mind, or try to think too fast for your mouth, I should say, because, uh, it's not going to work out in your favor. I talked about the possibility of interning at Target over the summer because I'll be going for my bachelor's and I already have an associate's, which means I am uh, able to intern there. And basically, that means a boost in pay. And from what I've heard <clears throat> and done a little bit of research on, interns can make like 15 to 17 bucks an hour, which I think is pretty good. At the pay I'm at, 15 and 17 bucks an hour is like a dream for me. And, uh, of course, if I got promoted to, like, a manager position above that, it would be higher. It would be a decent... It would be a salaried position. It wouldn't be hourly anymore. But for an intern, that's pretty good. And that's where the whole... Where I came up with the, uh... Where I have remembered, as I keep stuttering on through this, where I remember that message where the one guy was like, Oh, hey, you know, I have a 12-year-old friend that makes 19 bucks an hour. And it kind of annoyed me. <laughs> like, jumping to that turtle probably annoyed you. It really kind of annoyed me. Because I thought to myself, no offense if you're 12, 13 out there and watching this stuff. Because you're, you know, you're great for watching it and not leaving me douche comments like some of the other people. Stop dying! Thank you. Ugh. I'm running out of time. But, uh, no 12, 13, 14 year old should be making that much money. And you go, oh, I'm, you know, 12, 13, I need responsibilities, I need that much money. You don't need it for anything. First of all, you don't have any bills, most likely. And if you do, then your parents are trying to teach you a valuable lesson that could wait a few more years, to be honest. But, I mean, I hate these jumps. There we go. You really don't need to be earning that much money. And I say this because, uh, at least in the United States, and I'm sure all across the world, 
There are several very qualified people. This is gonna be a leap of faith. Very qualified people who are out of work right now because of the economy, I'm sure. After a run through the fields, Mario comes upon the desolate manor. He feels the pain of those who lost it to evil. As I'm saying, yes, there are lots of people that are unemployed right now who are qualified for jobs that pay that much and a lot more. And if you're a 13 year old and you're making that much money and there's people on unemployment because they can't find a job, that's just. ah, not good. Just kind of annoying when someone's like, oh, I'm 12 years old and I make more money than God. This once peaceful home is now our dirty, moldy, haunted playground. There's no turning back. <laughs> so yeah, that, that was pretty much my whole rant. Hopefully this video actually works and doesn't glitch out. And that's pretty much it. So I'll see you next time. And that's pretty much it. So see you later.